good morning friends this is yagdev and i am presenting the current affair for the month of september on empower is platform so we are discussing the current affairs series for prelims as well as mains examination various changes in laws governments administration has been made so we should look into the first news which makes the headline is social accountability so recently in rajasthan we see that there was a stringent law for the social accountability purpose and the government was working hard in order to look into the social accountability although people started campaigning against the government and started pursuing various kind of uh, propagandas and protest against the government so there was a social campaign by the people of a, a local area to uphold against the local village so it was demanded in the next assembly election that the government should be socially accountable and what it means the accountability so accountability is basically a principle of good governance acche sarkar ki ek disha hai jisme ki sarkar chesta karti hai logon tak suniyojit policies and schemes ko pahunchane ki and they remains answerable to the questions asked by the people at any level so that is the principle of accountability transparency and responsibility by the government so total accountability refers to a wide range of mechanism which asks for the citizen communities independent media also and civil societies organizations can use hold public officials accountable that means answerable to any plans and policies which is not fulfilled now what are the common tools for social accountability in various stage of service includes decentralization so in the process of accountability that goes for parliament to chief ministers dms and bdo level to the panchayati raj institutions pris that is again a part of accountability so accountability aims for sunwai that is citizens right to be heard jo bhi janta ki samasya hai wo administration ke dwara sunwai kiya jana that is called as right to be heard second is janta ka manch and that is again a collective platform for the people who are acting for the various kind of governance proposals such as panchayati raj institution again panchayaton mein kya hoti hai logon ka bhagidari hoti hai again in parliament there is again people's participation then further we are having civil societies pressure groups self help groups which raises the voice of people then there is prasar that is report dissemination so in order to justify the answers that are asked by the people janta ke dwara jo bhi prashn uthaye jate hain usko answer karne ke liye there is prasar then next is jankari jankari means information about work that is done by the government government ke dwara koi bhi karya kiya gaya hai and at what reach that is penetrated inside the people of india inside any village any community any cities any metropolitan areas or any kind of system that is called as the jankari next is the bhagidari involvement and participation of citizen so citizen ka involvement ke liye हम देखते हैं कि भागीदारी तो जनता कैसे भागीदारी होती है मित्रों पीपल टेक पार्ट वाया सिटीजन चार्टर एज वेल एज पार्टिसिपेशन थ्रू सिविल सोसाइटीज ऑल्सो पार्टिसिपेट थ्रू प्रेशर ग्रुप्स पीपल ऑल्सो पार्टिसिपेट बाय वोटिंग है ना in this way people participate in the governance and administrative measures that is a part of people centric governance so that is a social accountability then next is karyavahi the action taken in a time bound manner 
एक्शन टेकन इन अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम यानी कि गांव में फ्लड आ रहे थे वहां पे गवर्नमेंट ने फ्लड्स को चेक करने के लिए बांध बनाने की योजना की एंड दैट योजना हैज रिस्ट बिफोर द पीरियड ऑफ मानसून और नॉट दैट इज अ टाइम बाउंड मैनर ऑफ द एक्टिव गवर्नेंस देन नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज सुरक्षा सुरक्षा एम्स फॉर सिक्योरिटी सिक्योरिटी एंड प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ द सिटीजन एमिंग टू द प्रोविजन इन मिच द गवर्नमेंट प्रोवाइड द सिक्योरिटी इन टर्म्स ऑफ पोलिस आर्म फोर्सेज पैरामिलिट्री फोर्सेज एज वेल एज द सोसाइटीज इन विच देर आर सिक्योर टेनियर फॉर द गवर्नेंस एंड द वर्किंग ऑफ डे टू डे एक्टिविटीज फॉर द पीपल ऑफ इंडिया दैट इज सिक्योरिटी और सुरक्षा सो रिमेंबर दिस पार्ट for your prelims as well as mains point of view you can quote it in governance answer as well as ethics also paper 4 you can also add in your essay answer this is the principle of accountability now it also aims at measures of effective decentralization so what is decentralization the process of uh hierarchical downwards movement of hierarchy movement of hierarchy is called as decentralized governance suppose this is a parliament and here sitting a cabinet so cabinet ke decision ko states mein jana and actively participation of state bodies in penetration of that decision in pursuing those decision to the grassroots level at the panchayati raj institutions that is decentralization process remember this chart now we should also look into the local governance in which there is principle of subsidiarity what the principle says that whenever there is a governance and there should be an equal subsidiary of that local governance such as there is state government in a federal structure so state government ke niche bahut sare blocks tehsil zile aate hain and panchayati raj institution are there so at every level the equal participation of governance should reach now principle of subsidiarity says that an action which can be taken can be executed at the level of local governance yani ki panchayat and village level tak jana chahiye koi bhi decision now under section 4 of rti act we can also have capacity building and community mobilization so hum kya kar sakte hain capacity create karna plus community ko मोबिलाइज करना अगेंस्ट एनी काइंड ऑफ डिसीजन टेकन बाय गवर्नमेंट सपोज देयर इज अ पॉलिसी अगेंस्ट द ट्राइबल पीपल दैट देयर शुड बी अ स्पेशल इकोनॉमिक जोन इन अ विलेज एरिया व्हिच इज अ ट्राइबल इन नेचर तो वहां पे फॉरेस्ट एरिया को खाली करवाना है देन दे पीपल एंड कम्युनिटी ऑफ दैट एरिया कैन रेज देयर वॉइस अगेंस्ट द गवर्नमेंट इश्यूज एंड पॉलिसीज टू प्रोटेक्ट देयर फॉरेस्ट that is under right to information act again very very important suchna ka adhikar right to information act which is again part of article 19 of constitution of india that is the fundamental right so in terms of ngos that is non governmental organization and self help group which also take part in the decision making and decision changing people's campaign in decentralized planning this is a part of success story how far thus these measures has helped the government to take the decentralization is attributed to significant financial and functional devolution the institutional incentive for participation to be increased representation of hitherto marginalized voices likely those of scheduled caste scheduled tribe women and the disabled people so vulnerable sections ki voices reach kar rahi hain to the upper part 
people's campaign in planning in Kerala. That is a good exam example. You can quote this example in your answers. Now, eGopal application which makes the news. So, what is eGopal app? The government in order to provide more and more support to the bovine breeding program as well as the uh, animal rearers and cattle dependent agro economy government ne unke liye kya kiya e gopal app start kar diya and that app is providing a program under national dairy development board so national dairy development board ke dwara e gopal app ko launch kiya gaya hai and that app provides for real time information to the dairy farmers for better productivity and dairy animals now egopala platform helps farmers to manage their livestock including buying selling of disease free germplasm jo rog se pratirodhak germplasm hai unko khareedna aur bechna that are included it also helps to inform about availability of quality of breeding services animal nutrition treatment of animal using appropriate ayurvedic ethno veterinary medicines mechanism to send alert for vaccination pregnancy diagnosis cow winning etc it informs the farmer about various government schemes and this portal also facilitate real time checking of coverage and progress of various projects and government schemes with portal which is again in line with the prime minister's dream of digital india so e gopal app digital village ke concept ko bhi justify kar raha hai digital village services so national dairy development board is a statutory body which has launched e gopal app and by the act of the parliament it is established its jurisdiction was under ministry of fisheries and animal husbandry under government of india board was created in 1965 to finance support and support producer owned and controlled organizations its program and activity seeks to strengthen farmer cooperatives support national policies that are favorable to the growth of such institutions cooperative principles and cooperative strategies are fundamental to the board's effort now next news which makes the headline is sdr that is uh, under imf there is special drawing rights under which various countries can borrow or lend money from the imf basket to so, international monetary fund ke paas ek basket hai jisse ki bahut sare communities can take loans on collateral basis that is sdr by imf and it has made a rise of 12.57 billion equivalent to 17.86 billion dollar so bharat ke dwara sdr ko imf mein badhaya gaya hai that india has been adding to the sdr of imf earlier india was indebted india ke paas loan bahut zyada badh jate the in 1991 we see that the conditions launched over imf india by imf were against the policies of indian government that india is having too much of debt and it was unable to pay the debt now we see that there is a surplus of india's money into the imf india ka ab surplus ho chuka hai imf mein what is sdr SDR is neither a currency nor a claim on the IMF rather a potential claim of the freely usable currencies of IMF members SDR kya hai a currencies ka basket hai jo ki member countries use kar sakte hain so members countries claim over IMF account is called as SDR the unit of account of IMF and some other international organizations so sdr jaise hum dollar mein transaction karte hain at international level we transact with the term of dollar similarly in the sdr we are transacting various kind of money value through the indian currency 
directly. So the currency value of SDR is determined by summing the value of US dollar and based on the market exchange rate. US dollar ki jo value rati hai that again is able to determine the value of SDR. SDR ko nirdharit karne mein US dollar ki jo value hai wo able hoti hai and again with the global exchange rates that are present in the global market. Next part is SDR basket includes US dollar, SDR ke kya kya parts hain? It contains US dollar, pound sterling of UK, ruble of Russia, China's renminbi, and Japanese yen. These are all part of SDR and Chinese RNBB is latest was added in 2016. It is also asked by UPSC. So SDR currency value calculated daily basis except on IMF holidays. IMF ke jab holidays rate except those days the value of SDR is calculated on daily basis. Remember this fact and valuation basket is reviewed and adjusted every 5 years. Every 5 years ke baad us basket ko fir se adjust kiya jata hai and re-evaluate kiya jata hai. The IMF of country is denominated in SDR and members voting power in related to directly with the IMF conditions. So SDR allocation and the baskets that are provided under this value are proportionate to the existing quota of the IMF. Remember this fact. Now, what is FSDC? Financial Stability Development Council. FSDC is Financial Stability Development Council and that aims for developing a mechanism of financial stability over the global market and Indian market. So, Raghuram Rajan committee in 2008 aimed for the development of FSDC council and that aims for the financial sector reforms which proposed by the FSDC. So, FSDC proposed a financial sector reform under which various kind of exchanges and uh, pro processes that are taken part are changes to a different value and that are calculated in the FSDC. So, FSDC is a non-statutory body, remember these key words for your prelims point of view. FSDC kya hai? Is a non-statutory body under Ministry of Finance and it is established in 2008 having a chairman of Union Finance Minister. Is ki chairman kaun hai? Finance Minister of India. It is headed by Governor of Reserve Bank of India and under Finance Secretary, Department of Economic Affairs. Ek IS officers rahenge, who is a Finance Secretary. Then there is Department of Economic Affairs Secretary and Secretary of Ministry of Corporate Affairs and a Chief Economic Advisor and Ministry of Finance. Then other members from SEBI, IRDA and PFRDA. In sare members ko bhi in may include kiya jata hai. Now FSDC subcommittee is also there which is chaired by Governor of RBI. Remember this important fact. RBI ke Governor subcommittee ko head karte hai. That is under again Financial Stability Development Council. All the members of FSDC are included in this subcommittee from SEBI, IRDA and other bodies. So what are its function? It aims for strengthening the institutionalized process of the maintaining financial stability and enhancing inter-regulatory co co collaboration, cooperation and coordination between various bodies that are guiding various kind of financial intermediaries. Now, it has a micro potential vision in order to functioning at a various level of its growth and what it aims? It aims to create a viable market and availability of funds to the various banking and non-banking services. Now, next news comes about account aggregator AA. What is account aggregator? Recently, eight major banks has been taken into a network of account aggregators. 
so what are account aggregator so basically it is a non banking financial company that aims to regulate the accounting system and provide the services of retrieving collecting financial information penetrating to the customers under the contract and it was created through inter regulatory decision by RBI so it is a non statutory body but it is a decision holding body at RBI so reserve bank of india mein ek RBI ke dwara directly taken body hai and it is also governing sebi irda preferential fund regulatory development authority and initiative of financial stability and development council fsdc ka ye bhag hai pli what is pli that is production linked incentive for the textile sector so yesterday we were also discussing in the current affair news that government government is putting forth is value and power in order to develop the financial stability and the development of textile sectors in the indian economy to so, bharat mein textile sector or fiber sectors ke vikas ke liye bharat sarkar bahut hi zyada dhyan de rahi hai and in order to promote the textile sector government is providing the production linked incentive remember this friend and what is production linked incentive whenever the cloth or fabric is being prepared or manufactured that the manufacturing unit is having a man made fabric and garments technical textile make more competitive in the international market which is having a period of 5 years so global market mein export ko badhava dene ke liye bharat sarkar pli ko promote kar rahi hai now what are the main factors it is having two types of investments that are possible at a different set of incentive first type any person is having that incentive over the market that is provided through the firm company and the next part is having 300 crores of plant in machinery and equipment level so this goes for rising of production link incentive for various sectors now it has notified lines by mmf fabrics garments and other products of technical textile and what shall be eligible which company which entrepreneur or whichever manufacturing unit who is being eligible to have the application as a participation second type remember this first one and the second type is that which includes firm company willing to have minimum investment of 100 crore rupees and have a participation with other kind of entrepreneurs and fabric manufacturers which are having the investment then it has a priority areas under the theme which will be given for the investment in the aspirational district tier 3 and tier 4 towns remember this keywords ki iska application kahan pe hoga the aspirational districts first then second tier 3 towns then third tier 4 towns in teen jagahon pe production link incentive ko government ke dwara badhaya ja raha hai and that are provided for a period of 2 years at least now next part which makes the news is minimum support price newtam sahayata rashi jo ki kisano ko sarkar ke dwara di jati hai in terms of agricultural produce whenever there is a agricultural product then farmers are going to buy that product and the government provides a minimum incentive for the farmers in order to have the amount of fund for the grains that are produced for example certain wheat and rice are produced suppose kare ki kuch chawal aur gehu ki fasal paidavar hui hai so there is basket of wheat and there is a basket of rice and pulses so government by ccea cabinet committee on economic affairs determines the prices of these food grain so determination of prices 
is done by CCEA and that is called as a MSP that is a minimum support price. Now remember this flow chart for your films as well as mains point 